My paintings had had some time to dry. You know, it's pretty dry to the touch, so I'm going to go ahead and keep on moving where I want to put some of these sharp edges. Um, so I'm going to put in these dark little slots and patterns that are happening. I want this fairly, fairly dark. And then if I use some of that Van Dyke Brown, Burnt Umber, or uh, even some of that, just a little bit of uh, the ivory black, I couldn't remember what it's called, but I'm going to just put in some patterns here, things that are happening, let's see, maybe not that right there. some of these darker spaces that are happening. Let's see, what else can I do? And I'm going to lighten it up just a bit, getting some of those shadowed areas. Like how there's a shadow cast here, shadow cast here. And these dark shadow casts right here. And I want to add a bit more of a texture on this barn. And do some light brushing or uh, dry brushing, excuse me. Some of these areas where I'm just barely skimming that brush across from that. You guys can kind of sort of see that. Um, another thing I want to do, I want to keep this area light. I'm getting some nice contrast, but I also want to darken this part of the barn that I have. And maybe I'll add some blue. I think I just got a little bit of like a Prussian or cobalt blue, I'm not sure. I'm going to do a gradient wash. I want it kind of dark here, and then I want it to lighten. Just so it can create a little bit more contrast. There we go. Okay, other things. Um, the fence posts, before I forget. There's this fence post right here that's really thick and dark. I really like that fence post. I'm going to place that, that guy right here. And then place in the other ones. What else is going on here? And add a bit more of a shadow that's happening along this line of grass, etc. Remember, I don't have to put detail into everything. I can let that just kind of sit blank a bit. And I'm kind of wondering if I put in too much detail now in this area. I, I ruined it. I didn't ruin it. All right, trees. This is something I want to talk about. Um, for some reason, uh, we, we start to think of patterns. And when I start doing a tree, it kind of comes, oops, you guys didn't see that. It comes up like this. And there's a 45 degree angle, a 45 degree angle, 45, 45, 45 degree angle, etc. And this is what our brain wants to do. It logically thinks about a tree like, um, you know, it's just full of 45 degree angles. And before you know it, I mean, gosh, that's a boring tree. Um, and the reality is trees don't look like that. Uh, like when we look at this example of this big tree that's sitting in the foreground right here, that does not look like that. Uh, the branches can be unpredictable, and yeah, a lot of times the branches do come out of 45 degree angle, but they do not look like that. The branches thicken and thin, and there's sometimes a branch that looks like, it, you know, I don't even know where that connects. It's just this random branch coming out there. And so when you're doing them, keep that in mind. Put some variance in there. 
if I were to try to paint this tree, you know, it's okay to let it thicken and thin. And there's like maybe a branch that comes out this way. Let's see. But don't be predictable. The branches crisp, they cross, they go different directions. Some move down, some move up. But like this is starting to feel a lot more like what I'm seeing here than something predictable like that. So keep that in mind when you're, you know, doing trees, fence posts, grass, etc. All right. So this tree I want to put in here, I don't want to get it too dark. I don't want it to take away from this. So I'm going to lighten up the values just a little bit. I'm trying to determine what colors, you know, like some of the branches I see right here, there's almost like a purpley tint to them um, or a purpley fill. Maybe I'll add some blue, the cerulean blue with it. Let's see, and I'm going to uh, test a little bit how dark that is because, again, I don't want it too dark. I'm not going to get, even though I see this really, really dark, I don't want it to match that. I want that to stick out. Okay. And I also, from what I remember, I didn't want the tree to, to go too much over this barn. I want to kind of keep it into control. checking my time, making sure I'm not going over 10 minutes. All right. I don't have some branches. Ugh, I don't know about that right there, that mark. I'll think about that area a little bit later. I'm just kind of go back and forth analyzing what I've got going here. Maybe, maybe I want some of these branches to, to come up a little bit more this way. I'm still mimicking what I'm looking at, you know, I'm not just making it always out my head. Nature tells you a lot more information than, than you think. I never just blindly go at it. I'm always observing something. See, and I'm going to change some of the values, make this a little bit darker in some areas, a little bit lighter in some areas. I don't want all my branches to be the exact same value. Maybe go over some of these areas. a little bit of that burnt umber or Van Dyke brown, whatever is that color is that I just put on there. Darken this just a hair. This tree branch go off the page. It doesn't have to be contained in that white square. Sometimes I do something and I'm not sure where I'm going with it, and then you just kind of deal with it, work around it, kind of like life. <laughs> You know, I'm not really liking what I did there. 
So, see, I better stop the video.